to sleep again. Yeah, I don't want it to stay because I'm you know, cute there, snoring away. I don't snore. <laughs> you snore like a hippo. I'm only joking, baby. Yeah, you better be, Marcus. Why were you up early again? I saw a few things on my mind, that's all. It's not somebody wanted. It's just been a couple of crazy months. I just want to make sure that we're okay. So what's going on, though? You got something to tell me? I might. Who <sighs> the fuck is calling me this thing, hey, man? Are you being serious, Marcus? <sighs> Who's this? Sorry, babes, what was you going to say? It's obviously not that fucking important, is it, Marcus? Ugh, Lauren? Lauren? <sighs> Yo, who's this? Oh, look, come on, what took you so long to answer your phone? Listen, it ain't only the man around here, you know, Dent, and I've told you before. To ease off of that shit. Yeah, relax, look, come on. I'm just fucking with you. You need to chill. Give yourself a heart attack or something. What is it, Dent, I haven't got time. And this. Yo, be by Diego's. I don't know. What? Can't do that. Tell him I've got things on, man. Tell him. Look, come on. I'm not asking you, though. I'm telling you. Be by Diego's in an hour. Are you taking me for a dickhead or something? Tell Diego I'll be there. Thought so. Yo, by the way, how's your girl doing? What? What? Hello? Hello? Denton? I hate that dickhead. What's going on, Marcus? It's nothing, babes. Nothing? It doesn't sound like nothing. Who are you talking to? Was that Denton? What? No, it's not, Lauren. Oh, my God. You're such a fucking liar! You told me you were done with them! Do you know what? I'm not going to sit around and let you scream the fucking flat down and treat me like an idiot. So no one's treating you like an idiot, babes. You are treating me like an idiot. I don't want this life for us. What life? Oh, my God, this life. Why are you even talking to Denton? You know he's just using you. Stop exaggerating, will you? I've just got to do something quickly and that's it. Oh, my God, you think I was born yesterday? Go on, then. Go do something quickly. What's going to happen to Ashley, Marcus? What about Ashley? What's going to happen to Ashley if something happens to you? She's already lost her mum. What? Do you think she wants to lose you too? <sighs> Do you know what? I can't deal with your shit right now. I'm going to Julie's. Fair enough. Oh, you are such a prick, Marcus. Hi, Karen, it's Marcus. Marcus. Let me get. Don't be come off, and you're going to have to let Ashley down again. I don't want to hear this right now, Karen. I just want to speak to me, little sis, if that's OK. Is she in? Do you know what, Marcus? Every time you let her down, it just reminds her that she can't rely on you. Do you have any idea what that means? It's not like that, Karen. She knows I'll always be there for her. I love me, little sis. You know that. It's just that something's come up and I can't get out of it. Whatever, Marcus. You're my nephew and I love you, but you need to get your shit together before it's too late. Hello? Yes, little sis. You cool? Hey, Marcus. Yeah, I'm cool. You're still coming later, yeah? <sighs> Listen. Ash. Come on, I've got to go and sort it out. But you promised that you'd take me shopping. I know, I'm sorry, sis. I can't get out of it. Trust me. Listen, Ash, I'm going to make love to you, though, I promise. Don't, Don't worry. 
I'll still get you those trainers you keep on going on about. You promise? Not promise, sis. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna have to go now, yeah? But make sure you finish all your homework. Or I ain't taking you anywhere. You hear me? I hear ya. Cool. Okay, oh. By the way, how's your auntie Karen treating you? Do you like living there? Um, it's okay, I guess. She took me phone off me the other night because I came in past my curfew. It's so unfair. Can't I just come and live with you, Marcus? Yeah, Auntie loves you. She just wants the best for you, Ash, that's all. Listen. Let me see what I can do, yeah? Okay, Marcus. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go now, yeah? Listen, make sure you call, call me if you need anything. Okay. I will do. Love you, Marcus. I love you too, Ash. Should we set for tonight? Uh, my friend Diego. I didn't expect to hear from you so soon. I'm a busy man, Kulich. This may be a surprise to you, but you're not exactly at the top of my to-do list. <laughs> you are a funny man, Diego. Funny indeed. Why, thank you, Kulich. Do you have the documents? Yes, I have the documents, Kulich. Don't bring me. Good. So you will be bringing these to me in person? No, mate. I won't be seeing ten fucking feet from you. You and your guys are fucking liability. Such a shame you were saying these words. Like Diego. You think that this piece of shit information will prevent you from giving me my money? Then think again, Diego. I'll be careful if I were you, Kulich. You never know which piece of shit information people may have on you. I want this debt wiped, Kulich. There is no more debt. There is no money. I'll send the guy at 10 p.m. with the envelope. This is not over, Diego. I promise you this. this. Fucking divide! This fucking got out. Hey, it's Pacoina. Do I shop on there? I'll be with you in a sec, Lauren. No worries, JB. Oh, you know me nephew's toys are absolutely everywhere. I'm so <laughs> glad his mum's gone now. You never can't cope. <laughs> He's so adorable. I know, you know what? I absolutely love him to pieces. I know it sounds bad. When I have to give him back at the end of the day, it's like such a relief. No, I can imagine. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for letting me change such short notice. Oh, it's fine, I don't worry about no, it. thank fine. you. Oh, before I forget, mm -hmm. um, the report that the client wanted, he's rescheduled for two weeks out of time. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually going to ask you for more time on that, so... Yeah, he's anyway, postponed, so don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with you and Jason? Oh, don't even ask, girl. No. Mm, he basically decided to take a job in London. No way. Yeah, and... That it's the best for his career, so what can I say? Well, the thing is, though, Judy, it's not your loss, it's his, so I wouldn't worry about it. No. Well, anyway, <laughs> what's going on with you and Marcus this time, oh. anyway? It's gone absolutely mad. He keeps getting involved with Diego and Denton. I thought you said he'd stop messing with them ages ago. No, I know. He promised me that he'd stop speaking to them. I heard him talking to Denton on the phone this morning. Same so what? Look, this is the thing, right? Every time Marcus isn't there, Denton is always trying it on with me. But he actually makes my skin crawl. Oh, you want to stay away from him, Lauren? Why would you 
Why does she say that? He makes me feel sick. I would not even go near him. No, I'm just saying, babe. Do you know what? I, I actually need to speak to you about something. Go on, what is it? Do you know what? It, I, I don't know why I said that. It, it's nothing. No, go on, what's up? No, I'm being silly. It's nothing. I promise you, it's nothing. You know more is here for you if you need me, don't you? No, no, I know, I know. I know. Listen, Johnny, I gave you simple instructions to organise the meet for when I get there. Now you're telling me the guys are backed out. Are you dumb? You know what I went for in order to get them to me? Ascolta, ascolta. Fammi sapere quando è fatto. Capito? Everything OK, D? Dealing with Muppets, mate. These guys are costing me money with this beef shit. Doesn't anybody want to make money? Babe, I'm just going to go to town with Bria. Won't be long. I'm sure you'll have fun. <laughs> sure will. See you later. Good. Yeah, I'm good, Diego. Got a quick job for you. Quick drop off. Nothing long. <sighs> Bro, you said that was the last one. Yeah, I know, but this one came up last minute. After this one, let me straight, yeah? <sighs> Listen, you know I'm not trying to disrespect you, Diego, but it, I can't do it. I, I don't want to be doing this anymore. You've got some balls coming in there telling me what you do and don't want to be doing anymore. You and your prick of a mate steal from me and my business partner and you think you can just walk away easy? Denton wanted you dead. And I figured out a way for you to pay back the debt and you fucking complain. After this last job, your services are no longer required. I never want to see your stupid fucking face again. Do you understand me? Check this you do. Thanks, I'll give big balls the envelope. Give that to the guy that you're gonna meet later. And don't bother looking in the envelope. That shit ain't for you. Oh, and you're gonna need this. Something, Marcus. I never pulled a strap on you before. Stop fucking about and give him the peace, Dental. What do we need this for, Diego? You won't even need it, but take it with you anyway. And when you're finished, you bring it back to Denton. Big man now. Isn't it, Marcus? Put the gun away and make sure you don't shoot yourself. Now, Denton's gonna call you at 9.45, not 9.44 or 9.46, 9.45 on the dot. Do you understand? Cool. Good. Now, fuck off. Yeah, look, man. So let's see you for me, yeah?
Yo, check, right now my state of mind is grind like a skater's mind, making mine. No, I ain't wasting time, breaking rhymes down to the space and time. I was up all night, I was grinding late, perfecting rhyme schemes. I'll be finding ways, selecting grind speeds on my time and great wick smart. Do it in silent ways. Clean, catch up, quick is behind you. I know for a fact it's a grind. Yo, shit! Shit, I'll catch up with you, Dad. Hiya, Dad. What are you doing? Watching me in. What are you doing hanging on road? Dad, I just saw them now. Don't lie to me, Shay. No, Dad, I was just off to the shops with them. Off to the shops? You're supposed to be in where? I quit. It was crap, all right. You quit? How do you mean you quit? Dad, please, I really don't need to be hearing this right now. Yo, Marcus! Yo, do me a favour, Shay. Go on. Go on, Shay, and I'll call you later. Please, go on. Well, Mark, you're something good, then. Yeah, I'm good, on you? Yeah, man, I'm good, you know, man. Too. Well, I was at Ashley, long time in the scene, man. She must be getting big now, isn't it? Yeah, she's big now, you know. Yeah, well. Yeah, what, man? That's in fair right? I'm not telling anything, you know, Mark, but she's not something wrong with the guys, you know, but she's not right. She's not trying to take the piss. It's not good. Which man? Which man is that? <sighs> Diego, isn't it? Diego? What about Diego? I'm gonna be doing right like country pens and shit. Now tonight, he wants me to drop off this envelope off to some boys. Yo, watch out. Why has Diego got you running around for the Marcus? Try. It's a long trust. Come on, man. Tell me not. Okay. So, a couple of months back, me and my boy got put onto the quick cash thing through a girl we know that works in a nightclub that this guy owns. Now, she said that this guy likes her and always brags about how much money and diamonds and thing he has and that he'll buy her anything. So, she agreed to set him up with a certain percentage. So we follow man. Bus man up. Jack man. and got off. It was clean. So you're two for one now, Marcus? Bro, I know. But that's not even the worst part of it. What? Go on. So we find out that the boy we jacked is Diego's business partner. And Diego finds out it's us. But the fucked up thing is, the boy gets off with the dough that we jacked. And now Diego's got me running around, trying to pay off the debt. Oh, bomba clad, Marcos. So you're a big time fucking gangster now, Marcos? Phantom, it's not even like that. Gail said it was a straight thing. I think it was going to turn out to be all this madness. So is this what your mother would have wanted for you? Running around teeth and man, carrying on with all type of fuckery? Is you supposed to be Ashley's role model? Hello, what is Jed? Come over. Oh, blood crap, Marcus. Oh, shit. Is what you got yourself wrapped up in here, Marcus? Shit. What do you mean? I just got told to drop off the envelope. No, watch out. You're a big man now, you know, Marcus. You're big enough to teeth, man, so you're big enough to deal with the consequences. Oh, but this is real life, you know, Marcus. Everything in life has a consequence, you know. Ciao, watch out. You have to take this, you know, Marcus. Marcus, man, you have to deal with this, you know, right? But you know me there for you, innit? Yeah. You know me there for you. Watch out. Deal with the program, yeah? Bless. Yo, watch out. Yeah, I'm okay. <sighs> Why have you been all day? I've been worried. <sighs> no one I know, babes. 
Marcus, are we good? Oh. Are we good, Marcus? Oh yeah, we're good, babes. Listen, after tonight, it's just gonna be me and you. None of this other bullshit, okay? I love you, Mom. Marcus, what is that? Babes. Marcus, what the fuck is in your waist? Listen, Lon, I can explain. Marcus, what the fuck are you doing with a gun? Denton gave me, but I don't even need it. Denton gave you a gun? Marcus, I can't deal with this shit. Are you going to hear me out? No, I, I'm not going to hear you out. Do you know what? I was going to give you a second chance. But for what? For you to fucking lie to me. Oh, and also, when I was cleaning the bedroom the other day, I found all this. I am not even going to ask you where you got this from. Oh, wait, let me guess. Did Zenton give you it as well? Lauren, where are you going? Just to let you know as well. Marcus, I'm pregnant. You what? I found out a couple of days ago, and that's why I came back tonight to tell you. You're pregnant? I am not bringing a baby up around you and your gangster mate. Do you understand me? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Why didn't I tell you? How can I tell you? You are never around! Look, Marcus, I love you, but you've got to make a decision. It's either me and the baby, or all of this shit. It's your choice. 